have we found a boyfriend? Hi there, welcome back to Masala Sims. And if you're new here, welcome! Today we're playing part two of our Bengalis Let's Play with our lovely character Gitanjali Roy. So today is actually a very special day. Today is Gita's birthday. Gita has finished her last day of school. She is, of course, a spectacular student, as you can see. And um, so she is going to be celebrating her birthday at her aunt's place. So this is Rita Roy. She's Shankar's sister. So they're just going to, you know, celebrate. Woohoo! So let's see if we can't cook a cake. Let's make some blue confetti cake. Let's have Gita go and chat with her cousin, Pia. So Pia is um, Rita's little daughter. Gita is super, super fond of Pia and, you know, the other way around as well. Let's add some birthday candles. Let's get everyone over here, sit together. And let's have Gita blow out the candles. Oh, it's just a little family get together. She's got her wish. She not she not blowing out the candles? There it is. Woohoo! <laughs> Pia's like, what the hell is going on? Just kidding. Um oh and so looks like Gita is responsible. And because she did her homework all the time. So she's going to be a perfectionist. You know how carefully she did that um, school project, right? So that's her. That's our wonderful little Gita. Woohoo! Yay, she's a young adult now. Oh my god, so exciting. She is 18 years old. Now Gita's got a little bit of summer vacation ahead of her. Before she has to enroll in university, oh my god. So, of course, like the good girl Gita is, she's going to spend some of her summer vacation applying for scholarships, of course. What else would she be doing? So she's gonna, she's gonna be, you know, um, productive. So she's gonna get started, just apply for a scholarship right now. Just go into the to the library so that she can focus away from her parents, you know, getting the hyper focus ready for university. Uh, future star sounds like sounds like a good good one to apply for. And let's see. Um, I like that they have a helping hand one. Moderate household funds. cute and so she is pretty handy from doing that school project so she might as well also apply for the building the future scholarship sounds pretty good all right so we'll see uh if any of her applications uh work out <laughs> they're having a little conversation they're like what are we gonna do when Gita goes to college so, in classic fashion, as her parents get ready for work in the morning, Gita is still sound asleep because she's on summer vacation. And just as I say that, she gets up for food. That is, that is totally legitimate. She's a good kid, so she's going to clean up her books. <laughs> no, she's just going to read, okay. Alright, so, Rumi's gotta go to work, Gita, let's have Gita, I think Gita should try to learn how to cook. Let's have her start with a grilled cheese. That seems pretty innocuous, it's pretty hard to mess up a grilled cheese unless you burn it. And we're hoping that she doesn't burn her food. Um, I think Shankar's gonna clean up all of this food. So, 
Looks like Geetha's grilled cheese. Turned out pretty good. Think about family member. Aw, she's thinking about her dad. She's like, my dad is so awesome. So, her parents are off at work. She's got this whole entire day to herself. What is she gonna do? What are you gonna do, Gita? Batal. So I think she's gonna go, because she likes yoga so much, I think she's gonna go and take a yoga class, if she can. Um, and let's have her invite a friend. Let's see if she can make friends. So Aubrey is one of her friends from high school. Alright, so they're here at the Aham Ashram studio. I'm surprised that Aubrey actually... Uh, decided to come with her. Dang. Join energy centering class. 110 simoleons for a stinking yoga class. Goodness. I thought she was gonna take the class. I guess she's not taking the class. That's cool. Let's, um, let's do a, an energy cent- Aww, they're friends. That's cute. Why don't you also do some yoga, Aubrey? I guess he's not into yoga. That's okay. It's not a big deal. She's gonna do some yoga. I guess Aubrey's gonna go upstairs and get a drink. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of curious. What is Aubrey going to go do? What are you doing, my man? What a swaggy walk he has. Oh no, he's gonna go meditate. That is not what I expected him to do. Right, Gita? That's not what you expected him to do. Maybe you should go up there and meditate with him. If you know what I mean. No, just kidding. Not like that. That was super weird. Oh, he stopped meditating. That's too bad. Aww, Gita's made a new friend to, to meditate with. Yeah, that's definitely all they're going to be doing. Aubrey's not, not, not a bad looking dude though. You feel? Do you feel though? Maybe he's due for a makeover, TBH. <laughs> that might be a, a good video to do. Hmm. Like this video if you want to see me make Aubrey over. I think it's been a good productive day. Let's go say bye to Aubrey. There are people out here meditating in the storm. Why are they doing that? Or, okay, looks like Aubrey's left without us, so I guess I'm just gonna... Oh no, look at all those people with their upside down umbrellas. That's so sad. Let's just have Geetha run home in this thunderstorm. Hopefully she doesn't get struck by lightning or something. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Geetha's umbrella flipped. What did you think would happen, girl? Girl. You know what's really nice on rainy, rainy days like this? A nice warm bath. Let's have her actually cook some mac and cheese. Again, mac and cheese. A little bit difficult to mess up. Or at least easier to make than other things. I think the parents should head to bed. You know what? I'm gonna have her invite over Aubrey. He might not be awake. Aubrey Hughes will be right over. Oh my god. Well, who'd have thunk in the middle of the night? Not in the middle of the night, but it's like, it's 11 p.m. <laughs> He's still down to come hang out with her. That is a true friend there. Or at least that's what Gita thinks, you know. Come on in, my dude. Aw, looks like they're gonna have a little chat. She really hasn't had many friends in her life, so she's just enthusiastic that there's this one person who's willing to hang out with her. He seems like a sweet guy, you know? I think he's probably gonna head home now. Oh, no, he's going upstairs. Why is he going upstairs? My dude, that is a dangerous game you are playing. Her brown parents are literally sleeping in the next room. Let's see. Let's get to know him a little bit. At two in the morning. This isn't sketchy at all. He's outgoing. How sweet. Okay, I guess he's going home. 
Well, that's our signal to sleep. Good night. Yeah, I think Aubrey is actually... Oh no, he's uh... He's doing the dishes. Who is this guy? Why is he so good? Oh, okay, he's, he's playing like fantasy football or something. Soccer? FIFA? FIFA. He's playing FIFA. Esports. AKA FIFA. Come on, guys, we know EA is self-promoting here. <laughs> so apparently his whole motivation behind coming here, talking to Gita at, like, midnight, and then doing their dishes was to play a bit of FIFA on their tablet. And now he's going and cleaning up the living room. Is he- is he trying to prove a point here? That he's not a bad dude? That he's, in fact, just a pure-hearted little sweet angel just like our Gita is? Have we found a boyfriend? Oh my god, that is... That is just real good luck on, on Gita's part, holy crap. I feel like he can probably, like, don a kurta and, and, you know, say namaste to all of the uncles and aunties, you know? I feel like it's not gonna be a problem. Oh wow, so there's free food and drinks at all the outside venues today. Pretty cool. Maybe to celebrate Gita's last kind of few days, they should take advantage of Night on the Town. I mean, free food, like, who doesn't love free food? What the heck? Gita's like, what am I going to do? So I think what they should do, for old time's sake, is go play a round of chess in the park. They're just gonna have a great time. Just play a little bit of chess. Grab an open table. Let's play together. Yeah, Gita has a really good relationship with her father. She she is really she really is daddy's girl, and she really really respects her father and really really loves him. So cute. Oh my god! I didn't even notice that there's a a skating rink back there. Maybe I should go skate. Let's invite Gitanjali to skate. Let's do it! This is so cute! Oh, they're having a little father-daughter day. Oh, so cute! Oh, they're just skating around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Oh, oh, everyone's wiping out. Oh, man. Oh, they're having, like, s some cute little serious conversations. He's probably telling her to watch out for situations in college. He's a college professor, you know? He knows what goes on. Gets a first-hand account from his students. He's like, have fun. Have the time of your life, but be safe. There are a lot of bad things that can happen at college. You need to be careful. She's like, I know, Dad. He's like, I know you know. You're, you, you can take care of yourself. You're a smart girl. <laughs> That's super cute. Why does he just have a trash bag? <laughs> okay. So let's go. Let's head home. Oh, she got her scholarship result letters. Ooh, I didn't even notice. She hasn't been awarded the Willow Creek Scholarship. That's too bad. Oh no! Building a better future is not... Oh, that's so sad. Oh no! She got the Future Star Scholarship because she's so good at piano. Oh, she's so sad about some of those. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Gita. Your piano skills got you 200 simoleons towards college. That's super exciting. Don't worry about it. All right, so Rumi is home. So we are going to eat out. So let's head to Shaylana. 
And let's have it be a family dinner. So let's invite uh, Pia and Rita over as well to Shea Lama. So this is actually also my first time playing with the dine-in features. I haven't had this for a while, so... Oh, everyone's super hungry. Okay, let's, uh, let's have Rumi go up and ask for a table. Oh, I don't know where Rita went off to. Oh, I guess she got her own table. That's fine. So let's order for table. Gita is more interested in the dessert, so we're gonna have that. Shankar is gonna have that. Um, let's see. Artisan fish trio. That now that sounds good. And I think Rita's gonna get the space taco. And let's get a. What can juice on the rocks? Okay, apparently there are no drinks that she- that, um, Pia can drink. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Okay, I think we're ready to order. This is kind of like her graduation dinners. Alright, we got our first dish coming. Yes! Oh, that was all the dishes. Alright, everyone's got their food. Oh, this is so cute! He's really struggling with his food. She is, uh, I guess, taking notes on her food? Interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, is she eating at all? She's, she's gotta take a picture, you know, for the gram. Look at it, it's sparkling, like, bruh. Look at that. Oh my god, the pasta is, like, legitimately volcanoing. That was a cute dinner. Looks like everyone had a good time. So I think it's time that they ooh, bring out cake. <gasps> they can get a cake. That's so cool. I think they should get a Sim City cheesecake. Ooh, that looks tasty. Oh, it's like a New York cheesecake, except it's a Sim City. <laughs> clever EA, clever. I see what you did there. I'm sure everybody figured that out like five years ago, and I'm just sitting here like, oh, it's Sim City cheesecake. <laughs> let's give up this table and let's head home. Gita's got a big day tomorrow. It's very late, and it really is time that Gita goes to sleep. Yes. Aw, Ruby's just standing in this room like, oh, my sweet child, she's gonna go away to college. Gita, of course, is going to be attending Foxbury Institute. So Gita's gonna go for a distinguished degree in physics. She loves math, of course, so why would she not do a degree in physics, you know? It's kind of like the most applicable uh, degree that you can get that is very mathematically heavy. And it's going to allow her to be a mechanical engineer or a space ranger, which is freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what she's going for. And I think she's going to take a pretty, um, she's going to take three classes. Performing piano live. That sounds like a good elective for her. Where should she live? Briny Tower. No gender restriction. Mm, interesting. Um, eight beds, Foxbury Institute students only, there's university housing in an actual house with four beds, so it'll be a little cozier, but she won't get to meet as many people, you know, and Tidal Tower, um, either of these honestly look good, Briny Tower versus Tidal Tower, Tidal Tower is, a, I don't know, it sounds cuter, there's no gender restriction, yep, Sounds good. Scholarships. Oh, she has a 300 simoleon merit scholarship. That's so exciting. And she's gonna, her parents are gonna pay for her, at least her, her first year of college. Oh my god, this is the moment. Aww. Gita's gonna go to college. Her parents, I think, are gonna give her, like, a stipend of, um, so 2000 for the semester. Um, and her, she's living on campus, so she's gonna be able to, like, eat the dorm food and stuff, so th that'll be okay. Oh my god, she's going to college! Ah! She's away from her parents, she's met a new friend throughout this part, hmm, we'll see if he shows up. 
So make sure you have clicked the subscribe button so that you don't miss the latest update on Gita's life. And hit the like button if you liked this video. And I'll see you guys in the next part of the Let's Play. Alright, bye bye <laughs>